I'm here with Torsten Robrecht of Nokia Siemens Networks. Torsten, here at Broadband World Forum, you announced LiquidNet. Can you briefly explain what it is? Yes, LiquidNet is a very simple theme, in fact, which is defining our whole product strategy, which we are at Nokia Siemens Networks now bringing to the market. Some of it has been brought to the market already and some of it coming in the future under this type of general theme. In fact, we are unleashing the capacity which is frozen inside the networks and making it available as a pool of resources independently from time and place towards the different locations where the capacity is needed inside the network. In fact, there are three kind of main themes which are underlying under this type of liquid net in total. So it comprised out of the liquid radio. Some of you might be familiar because we have been launching this at CTIA already earlier this year. And on top of the liquid radio, we are now getting out there with the liquid core and the liquid transport, which is complementing this towards a total liquid net type of solution. And why would operators need liquid net? The industry is really at a turning point in the moment that the traffic patterns are really changing. Not only that the traffic increases dramatically, so we all know this from fixed and the mobile networks, also the predictability where the traffic is happening is totally changing. And there are two aspects in there. There's a location aspect in there, where we changed over the daytime, for instance, between the business park and the home park, or between the week and the weekend, between the kind of towns and the kind of leisure area somewhere. And then there's the kind of unpredictability from the application. You get very famous applications suddenly come to the network, which creates a huge demand in a certain area for a certain time, but this is then often very limited and often creating some type of peaks. And these peaks, we are able to monitor, or let's say, serve in a very good way in the kind of liquid net approach. How will Nokia Siemens Networks help operators to meet the data demands of businesses and consumers over the next five years? Yes, liquid net is playing exactly here a key role. Because first of all, it is non-disruptive. So whatever the operators have today installed inside the network can be included inside the liquid net type of concept inside the network. Then the key theme is basically that we are lowering the kind of cost per bit and on the OPEX side and on the CAPEX side with this type of technology. I'll give you an example for instance. So in the moment we've got something like 80% of the kind of processing capability in a mobile network for instance, we've got frozen inside the networks where it is not used. Because users are starting to move all around the networks and you cannot put the same type of processing capability everywhere. You can for sure do this, but this is expensive and it costs investment and it costs operational costs on this one. But our kind of architecture now allows basically to use this type of frozen capacity, put it in a central place and then serving it independently of time and place in a kind of general way towards a kind of community. And what kind of new investment is required from operators to take liquid net into use? This is a very good question. So investment is always getting to the point then when there is needs to be the business case. And the question is, and we have posed ourselves, uh, how ready is the market to absorb something totally new in this? And here comes the beauty. So it's not something totally new in this type of area. So basically the liquid net can be starting from any type of element inside the network basically independently. So you can start it from the liquid transport, you can start it from the liquid core, or you start it from the liquid radio. So in this area where we basically need some type of a capacity and we have got some urgency to invest something on this one. And once you've started from one of these angles basically, this whole concept evolves time over time into this type of whole liquid net concept. Torsten, thank you. Very welcome.